Huron has successfully put three homegrown satellites into orbit with a minimum altitude of 450 km and a maximum of 1,100 km above the Earth's surface. Mata, Kihan-2 and Hadov-1 satellites were launched from Imam Khomeini Space Launch Terminal in Semnan Province on Sunday by the Simard, Phoenix, Satellite Launch Vehicle, which is manufactured by the Iranian Defense Ministry. META is a research satellite designed, manufactured, assembled and tested at the Iranian Space Research Center. Weighing 32 kilograms, it is a lightweight satellite developed to test advanced satellite subsystems. META's main task is to assess the performance of the Simurgh launcher in multiple injections of space cargo in low altitudes, as well as evaluate new designs and the reliability of indigenous technologies in space. Kihan-2 and Hadoff-1 nanosatellites were also designed and developed for launch by Iran Electronics Industries, a state-owned subsidiary of the Defense Ministry. Both are cubic nanosatellites weighing less than 10 kilograms. Kihan-2 is developed for space-based positioning. It has status determination and control subsystems to aim stably and precisely towards the Earth. Hadoff-1 seeks proving the use of narrowband communication technology in the Internet of Things IoT. Despite sanctions imposed by Western countries in recent years, Iran has managed to take giant strides in the civilian space program. It is among the world's top 10 countries capable of developing and launching satellites. Last week, the Aerospace Force of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, launched Soraya satellite into orbit using Keem-100 satellite carrier. Iran's telecoms minister Issa Zarapur said that for the first time, Simurgh simultaneously put Mata satellite and two other research payloads into orbit, adding that Mata's signal was received. I congratulate this important achievement to the beloved people and space experts, especially my colleagues at the Iranian Space Research Center and the Defense Ministry," he noted. Inknews also says Iran successfully launched three satellites into space, the latest for a program that the West says improves Tehran's ballistic missiles. The state-run Erna news agency said the launch also saw the successful use of Iran's Simurg rocket, which has had multiple failures in the past. The launch comes as heightened tensions grip the wider Middle East over Israel's continued war on Hamas in the Gaza Strip. While Iran has not intervened militarily in the conflict, it has faced increased pressure within its theocracy for action after a deadly Islamic State suicide bombing earlier this month and as proxy groups like Yemen's Houthi rebels conduct attacks linked to the war. Footage released by Iranian state television showed a nighttime launch for the Simurgh rocket. An associated press analysis of the footage's details showed that it took place at the Imam Khomeini spaceport in Iran's rural Semnan province. State TV named the launched satellites Mata, Kahin-2 and Hadoff-1. It described the Mata as a research satellite, while the Kahin and the Hadoff were nanosatellites focused on global positioning and communication respectively. There have been five failed launches in a row for the Simurgh program, another satellite-carrying rocket.
The Simard, or Phoenix rocket failures, have been part of a series of setbacks in recent years for Iran's civilian space program, including fatal fires and a launch pad rocket explosion that drew the attention of former U.S. President Donald Trump. The United States has previously said Iran's satellite launches defy a UN Security Council resolution and called on Tehran to undertake no activity involving ballistic missiles capable of delivering nuclear weapons. UN sanctions related to Iran's ballistic missile program expired last October. The U.S. intelligence community's 2023 Worldwide Threat Assessment said the development of satellite launch vehicles shortens the timeline for Iran to develop an intercontinental ballistic missile because it uses similar technology. The U.S. military and the State Department did not immediately respond to requests for comment. However, the U.S. military has quietly acknowledged a successful Iranian satellite launch from January 20, conducted by the country's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard.